Hey guys, welcome back to my garden. Today we have day 47 of the cucumber growth and things are off to a rough start. You can see looking around, we do have this one beautiful cucumber that's still growing. I'm just waiting for it to finish turning yellow. This way the seeds on the inside are going to get nice and large and it's going to be perfect for when I want to plant them. I'm planning on harvesting a ton of seeds off this one cucumber so it better provide really well for me. You could see that we have a lot of cucumbers on the, that are growing around here and there but a lot of the good ones are turning bad and turning yellow starting to wilt away. So what I'm going to do basically is just harvest what I do have going on over here and I'll show you guys what that all, all looks like. Um, I'm battling a whole, whole bunch of aphids right now. You can see we have these yellow aphids that are just on the undersides of some of these leaves. I am wiping them down here and there where I do see them but it's just a losing battle at this point. So what I did to combat that is just I planted a new seed. And in just 6 days time this seed sprouted so that's really quick honestly. And I forget just how fast this cucumber plant grows. You could see um, just after it sprouted the next day the root system underneath is already showing. So it's already ready for a hydroponic system. I'm going to throw this in the system later tonight. And I looked at my earlier videos and I realized dating back to get to this stage of growth it only took basically 2 months guys. So in just about 60 days I'm going to basically be harvesting new cucumbers. Minus all of these complications that I'm going through right now. Now you could see that the fruits over here are suffering like I mentioned earlier. They're starting to wilt away. They're turning brown and you could see it that even the size starts to shrink a lot on them. So instead of the plant just wasting a lot of energy on, on these existing fruits over here just wilting and dying. I'm going to harvest everything that is growing right now. You could see even another one over here. This was at least probably I would say two times larger than it was probably maybe two days ago. And that was a lot of probabilities, so I'm pretty sure that's one f more than I uh, needed, but <laughs> whatever. So we're just gonna like basically cut off the second vine right over here, guys. And what that's gonna do is it's not gonna focus all this uh, wasted energy and this top growth over here. Um, even the fruits over here, you're noticing that they're beginning to even yellow, and probably in the next day or so, they're gonna start to kind of concave on themselves and, and start to bolt away. So that's just a lot of wasted en energy right now uh, uh, for really for nothing. So it looks like this, at least this one looks really good, I think. Let me clean this one up. I actually want to try try it out, see what, what a really small one looks tastes like. I haven't tried that yet. And it's actually pretty crunchy. That tastes really good, honestly. Um, it's like a little miniature, like gherkin. Really tasty, guys. And you can see that this is the second vine that I just cut off. That was the one that was growing on the backside. So same thing, let's harvest what we can off of this one. And I plan on consuming these cucumbers. I'm pretty sure that I could make probably like some type of like, I don't know, maybe at least a, at least a pickling recipe. I don't know, do you guys know any good pickling recipes? If you do, please let me know down below. I've never actually tried doing that before, but I'm pretty sure I could figure it out. And you can see right over here, these are what the yellow aphids look like a little bit more up close. So if you guys see little little indications like that on your leaves make sure to try to wipe those off wash those off whatever you do don't just leave them alone because they're gonna get really bad guys you can see some of these leaves are just heavily damaged i'm sure the aphids were probably there longer than i noticed because i don't know i, I wasn't exactly looking at this cucumber plant anymore because i'm just waiting for the the fruits to harvest and um, not harvest to get larger and more yellow so at this point i wasn't really inspecting anything i'm just wait, letting it do its thing making sure the water level is not running out. It actually was about to run out the other day, so I just filled it up, um, I think it was a day or two ago. And this time I put in two gallons of just plain fresh water, just to help the, the existing fruit that's growing right there. And let me just finish harvesting the cucumbers that I do see around. And you can see if you wait too long, this is basically what happens when it wilts away. And that's our hole, so not, not too bad, honestly. This is our second cucumber harvest. Not the not the largest cucumbers, so and not exactly, you know, I, I, ideally what I thought it was going to be, but... Nonetheless, I'm still pretty happy, honestly, guys. You can see we have some, some decent sizes over here. 
and we got a couple little cukes growing so overall I'm pretty happy and I'm pretty sure I can make like a, like a decent little like pickling recipe with this so we got a nice little various sizes right here and you can see this is what the plant looks like now after I picked everything off now it looks pretty beat, beaten up but at least thankfully we have a, a bunch of still I do I do still see a lot of really um really good leaves here and there and that should be honestly I think enough leaves for for the cucumber that's growing right there to keep putting in pumping and putting an energy into it I'm pretty sure if, the, if there's no more leaves the the fruit right there is just gonna die off so let's look, get a nice up close shot of it you can see what it looks like and I'm gonna record what it looks like the next day also just to see what the what the end result of the of, of this is, is basically yeah let's get a nice little comparison that's basically the largest one that I ha that I have right here and the small one you could see just is super small in relation to it at least like a hundred times bigger so got to be happy about that right and you can see this is right over here what I, what I basically took off um, I really got to get my, my compost bin back up and going, I think. You can see this is just like a waste to throw away, I feel like. And before we go, let's take a look at the root system, actually. Like I mentioned, I just added two fresh gallons of water, uh, I believe it was last night. And here's another really damaged le leaf over here, so I'm going to take that right off. You can see as soon as I touch it, it just crumbles in my hand. It's just dust everywhere. And overall, the root system still looks really healthy. Um, it is looking a little bit more yellowish right now, but still nonetheless pretty healthy, I think. So overall, not bad, guys. We're going to take some measurements, and that's pretty much the end of the video. If you liked the episode, please hit that thumbs up. Post any messages or comments down below. I'll do my best to respond. And we'll be back soon for more, guys. As always, thanks for watching.